Senator Kevin Dietz has the never before seen video. So, ready to talk a little business? Yeah, yes, sir. You're looking at FBI video of one of the biggest sting operations in Detroit public corruption history, Operation Backbone. Sitting on the couch, Willie Volson, the brother-in-law of then Mayor Coleman A. Young. Sitting next to him, Detroit police officer Jimmy Harris, Mayor Young's bodyguard at the time. I got three Detroit police officers myself. That's okay, cool. all right, okay. And these people have been with me. Okay, you can trust them. The two men are on a yacht in Miami. They think it belongs to this international drug dealer, Mike Diaz. It does not. It belongs to the FBI. And Diaz is really an undercover agent named Mike Castro. For uh, a successful mission and uh, a good escape and all that, uh, uh, 40, 50 grand. Diaz is offering the men $50,000 to put together a team of dirty cops to protect 100 kilo cocaine shipments from Miami to Detroit City Airport. So basically, we're businessmen, we're in, the, we're in the drug business. You can give us a heads up on any police that are in the area. Okay. Okay, number one. Okay. And number two, so we don't get ripped off. Right. Officer Jimmy Harris and Willie Volson are all in. So we got a deal? Yeah. yeah. Operation Backbone uh, was an effort on part of the FBI to identify uh, law enforcement corruption. And it just took off like a snowball downhill and here we are a year or two later, we got 12 police officers. Who was behind the sting? One man, white boy Rick Worshey. The FBI came to him in prison for help. He agreed, hoping it would help him get out early. Were you surprised or did you know they would do it? They'd go for it? I, there was no doubt in my mind. I just told you that I knew, I knew that if money was involved, that they would take the money. To make it work, Rick had to call his former girlfriend, Kathy Volson Curry, the niece of Mayor Coleman Young. Rick told her Mike Diaz was one of his closest friends in the drug world and could be trusted. They said Diaz was also Don Worshey's boyfriend. They all met for dinner at the Whitney in Detroit to discuss making money on the shipment of cocaine into Detroit. I thought everything went well. She was at ease. I mean, I don't think she had a care in the world thinking anything other than what we told her. She wanted in? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kathy Volson believed the Worshies, and Willie Volson and Jimmy Harris believed Kathy. Harrison Volson collected over $200,000 in bribe money to protect drug shipments. In 1991, they were busted. Volson, Harris, and 10 other cops were sent to prison. Did you think they'd be able to pull it off? I knew we could pull it off. There was no doubt in my mind. I knew how greedy they were. The FBI says they never could have done it without Rick Worshey. He was the best FBI drug informant that we ever had. Worshey has been locked up for over 30 years for committing two nonviolent crimes. His scheduled release date, December 2020. This is just one of the fascinating stories involving Richard Worshey Jr. You can hear all of them in our brand new podcast. You can find it by going to whiteboyrick.show. Kevin Dietz, Defenders.